I'm going to pick the best receiving running back in the NFL from last okay. year, and that's Naheem Hines. Wow. Oh, I, love this. I love it so much. If that's all we're doing here, if it's yep. just catching passes out of the backfield, because that's what seven on seven is, I'm going to pick the running back that, in my opinion, was the most dynamic receiving option at the position last season and is not just somebody that's catching balls out of the backfield. He can do some of that stuff, but you can line him up in the slot. I mean, he's eaten against linebackers on little tiny quick outs. I mean, he can run wheels for you. He can run slants against man coverage. I mean, the Colts used him in high leverage moments. I want to say it was against Green Bay. It's fourth and one. They lined up in empty with him as the number yeah. one receiver to the right side. And he ran a slant against Jair Alexander to get a first down. Yeah. I just think that he has the most – last year, he shot off the most varied, dynamic – impact in the receiving game among any running back in the NFL. So I just think he's the guy, again, that's hardest to replicate for me as we're going through all of these players for this exercise. This is so much fun. I, I was waiting for one outside shot to, to land on this list, and this is absolutely it. And I think you nailed it for the usage that you want with these players. I mean, Naeem Hines, I remember him at NC State. I remember him, obviously, now in, in the NFL. It is one of those that, like – We've seen Todd Gurley rack up a bunch of targets and receptions out of the backfield, but it seems like those were just simple s swings that were wide open over and over and over again. It's so different, the running back position of who has like legitimate pass catching movement, route running chops. And I think Naeem Hines is absolutely among the best, if not the best, like you're pointing out in the league right now. Even if you're looking at a guy like Kamara, he has so much value when there's traffic, right? On yeah. screens and things like that. Uh, Hines is running full route tree. Kamara does some of that stuff too. But I just think that Hines, when you eliminate screens from the equation, he has more pass catching value among any of the other running backs we could talk about here. Robert, I got to ask you, because this is a huge decision point for fantasy, is Jonathan Taylor's being drafted as like the seventh or eighth overall player, like over some like legit running backs. How do you think the Colts are going to go about splitting the touches between Jonathan Taylor and Naeem Hines and then Marlon Mack, maybe in a smaller role, but like specifically third downs. I mean, we we'll always talk about in fantasy, how much production is coming from the receiving game. And I think a lot of people are assuming that Jonathan Taylor is going to eat into Naeem Hines receiving workload. But if you think he's this good, I'm not sure if that's going to happen. What are your thoughts? I feel like they love Naheem, Naheem Hines there. I think that they would consider retaining him when it, when all is said and done. So I think that sort of commitment should give you some indication. Uh, they're of the opinion that Jonathan Taylor can be a 2,000-yard back eventually. I don't think they believe it can happen this year. So Interesting. take that into account as you're making your decisions. Love that. Absolutely love that. Okay.